were talking about three ways to increase your engagement and they came out with a study and it's very, very interesting information. First, what we want to talk about is basically that organic reach is still very pop, is still very, um, um, is not dead on uh, Instagram because, you know, they have algorithms, Facebook has algorithms and um, Facebook owns Instagram, so there's algorithms, but because of hashtags and because of being able to tag people on Instagram, you can still get organic reach, and that's the great thing about Instagram. Um, so we're, first we're going to talk about is uh, the studies that came out with Mention. So Mention, like I said, is a social media monitoring company, and they had conducted a study in 2018 on Instagram, and we're going to tell you some of those results. So the first thing we want to say is um, that you have to focus on your IG video posts um, for more comments because 80% of IG users actually follow a business, which is great news for us, right? If we're business people using Facebook as one of our social media platform to increase our business. And like we always say, when you're going to use digital marketing for your marketing in your business, first what you want to do is you want to audit what you have, right? Audit your website, audit your, audit your social media platforms. And then what you're going to do is you're going to define a goal. What is the goal of digital marketing? Why are you using digital marketing? What is the goal of what you're, where you're trying to get to and which social media platforms are going to help you get there? So if IG is one of the social media platforms that's going to help you get there, then, then listen up. And most of the time, IG is a really good platform for most businesses. So what we're first going to talk about is um, they in this study, they actually looked at um, uh they said focus on a goal, right? So you have to know where you're going. I'm sorry, I'm trying to still fix this stuff as we're talking. It's really annoying me. Um, so when they compared photos versus videos and carousel on IG, right? Because videos are huge. We always talk about how great videos are. That's why we do live videos every Tuesday. Um, they're engaging, we can get questions. Um, when they actually did their study on Instagram, videos, pictures, and carousels, they found that the likes, okay, when people liked a photo, were just about even for whether you had a video, a picture, or a carousel, which was kind of surprising because we thought that videos were really going to raise more likes on Instagram. Here's an interesting fact, right? What they did find was that the comments were much higher on video than they were on um, just pictures or carousel. So like by 46%, and I'm gonna put all these graphs on our social media marketing Facebook page. So if you're not a member, be, be sure to join Stark Media Group Marketing uh, Facebook group, okay, because I'm going to put all the graphs on there and then I always put on more information from each Coffee Talk Tuesday. So what they did find was that videos, images, and carousels all had the same amount of likes, but videos had a higher engagement, meaning they had more comments. And that's really what you want, right? You want engagement in the long run because you build more valuable followers that way and you're and you're getting comments and you're getting and that also raises you right that just raises you on instagram and on facebook so that was very that was really interesting and that was from 115 million instagram posts they analyze these from so it's a huge database that they're analyzing this from so what you want to do is what's what's important is to know exactly what you're looking for from your audience when you set a goal, right? When you set a goal um, on your Instagram platform, are you just looking for likes? Are you looking for engagement? What are you looking for? I mean, most people are looking for engagement, right? Because they want. I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna see if this works again. I don't know. Um, it doesn't want to work for me today. Um, so what they want is, like, we want engagement, right? That's not going to work. I'm going to have to hold it. 
that's not going to work. So we want engagement. That's what we're looking for. Um, so know what your goal is and then make your posts according to your goal. The second thing we want to talk about is this is really surprising. Okay. I'm not so sure. I agree with this study. I'm going to tell you these results and some other studies also debunk this study, but everybody always has the questions of like, how many hashtags should I be using? Where should I be placing my hashtags? What's the optimal number of hashtags? So what this study found was that, um, then this is why organic reach still works well on Instagram because you can tag people and you can use hashtags to find certain things. So um, what they found is most people stay within the number of like 30 hashtags maximum, right? We always say 11 is good, but they always stay between five to 30 hashtags. So what they found was in this study, which is crazy, is that hashtags, okay, we're not really increasing your number of followers, likes, or engagement, which is, we kind of find crazy because honestly, we like hashtags, we use hashtags, we find people through hashtags, we're going to continue to use hashtags and use appropriate hashtags for our posts. This study found that it didn't make a difference. What it did find was the difference that it did make was if you tagged people, if you tagged people in your posts, okay, then it found that you would get 0.5 to one more likes per post. So you're kind of like alerting people that you may be, that they may be interested in this post. And then it also gives them the ability to share the post, to read about the post, um, and, and that's the great thing about Instagram. And that's why we always say that organic reach isn't dead there because it gives you the ability to reach out to other people and for them to, to see that, you know, you are tagging them and give them a chance to share and comment and like, so the takeaway from that is we believe in hashtags. We're going to continue to use hashtags. They say hashtags didn't make a difference. There are studies that debunk that. But the takeaway is make sure you're tagging people. Also, um, you know, location is important too. This wasn't part of the study, but we're, I'm just going to add this in. When you put in your location, people search locations. So if we want a broader uh, scope on our location when we're somewhere, we might just add like the entire area of like Suffolk County versus just our town of Riverhead. Like I'll often put in Suffolk County because I just want a broader reach. And I, and I look at my analytics and I get a broader reach every time. So also when you do, when you're looking at these things, we always tell people, you got to look at your analytics. When you're making these posts, you need to be checking, well, I made that post, that post versus a picture post which one got more engagement, which got more likes, which got more reach. You have to be looking at your analytics to see what's really working for you, okay? All right, now, the last thing that we're gonna talk about is engaging with your audience. Social media is social, okay? So what this study showed, and it's not that surprising, is that if you are going on and engaging with your audience, now, the Instagram expert who we love and we follow her all the time, Subi Zimmerman, there has never been once that I have um, written to her, DM'd her, made a comment to her where she hasn't done something back, liked it, commented back, wrote a thumbs up, anything, anything. And she has over 50,000 followers. So... It's really important that you engage with your followers and that's what creates authenticity. Um, she's recognizing me. I appreciate that. And she's reaching out and she really appreciates her followers. So engagement, engagement, engagement is what they found is one of the most important things. It's kind of funny, but to increase the engagement on your social media, you need to engage with your audience and you need to respond to them. So they looked at millions and millions of um, IG accounts. And what they found was the accounts that had between 10 to 50,000 followers, and they put the accounts in there that were like over millions, right? Like celebrity accounts. 
they also looked at those. They didn't look at any accounts that had less than 4,000 followers. And 70% of IG users have less than 1,000 followers. So this was, so this was, you know, they, they went down to like 30% of the users, right? So they really honed in on their users. And what they found was 5.2% of IG users have between 10 to 50,000 followers. In this special group, this is where the engagement was the highest. This is where the engagement really had influence. This is where the engagement really brought you value. High, um, that it brought you um, higher engagement. It brought more followers. It brought trustworthy trustworthiness. Easy for me to say. Um, but that sweet spot between the ten to fifty thousand followers is really where they saw the highest rate of engagement and conversion and um where and what they find is that is that basically the takeaway is what we're kind of talked about is one of our uh 2018 2019 sorry 2019 predictions was that micro influencers right so the point of what i'm getting to is micro influencers are big micro influencers are here they're a great option for businesses. If you're not taking advantage of them, you should be taking advantage of them and reaching out to micro influencers. And clearly this study just reinforced that micro influencers um, really can have an impact for your business. So let me just review my notes here real quick. I just wanna make sure that I didn't miss anything for you guys because this is really great information. I will be putting it on our Facebook marketing uh, group, right? So be sure to join that Stark Media Marketing Facebook group. Um, and let me just see, I mentioned the micro influencers. And oh, this is the other thing I wanted to say. Something else that came out that was important on this was um, really when you're going to decide which social media platforms you're going to use for your business, right? You're going to set a goal, you're going to decide which social media platforms and if if Instagram is one of them, then the takeaway from all of this is to don't try to go out and attract the masses. Clearly, these studies are telling you that trying to attract masses don't work. You need to target to your audience, give them what they're looking for and appeal to them and engage with them. That's what's going to get you the best return on investment for your time and your money on this social media platform. It's once again the 80-20 rule, right? 80% of your income is gonna come from 20% of your clientele. And that's really what this is too. More followers do not equal more money. More followers don't equal more engagement. In fact, in fact they found the opposite here. When they had, um, when they had accounts that had millions of users, the engagement was lower. The engagement is higher when you have your targeted audience and you're giving them value and you're engaging with them. All right, so I hope this is super useful for you guys. Once again, I'll put this all on our private Facebook group, so be sure to join it. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube, and I really apologize this morning for all of uh, the problems with the live feed. You know, I mean, that's out of my control. And I'm holding this in my hand the whole time. So if it's a little shaky on, you know, the Instagram, um, I'm really sorry about that. And um, I will see you guys next Tuesday. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.